tissue microarray instruments have been around since about 1999. The instrument on your left is actually from March of 2000. So it's one of the first original tissue microarray instruments. This is actually the first on the market also. I used this one on the left extensively for a couple of years and I found it very cumbersome and in some ways over-engineered. It took many steps to process a sample and to submit it into a donor block and often it damaged the donor block because you're punching into cold paraffin. I actually added those heat strips on the sides which heated the plate and softened the paraffin and made it a little easier to punch where I could actually add a lot of samples. As you can see in this picture here of 1,000.6 millimeter punches in one tissue microarray block. Some of the disadvantages or the over-engineering I feel in this original manual tissue microarray instrument is that it had very expensive needles. Back in the year 2000 were about $200 for a set of needles which included one donor and one recipient needle. Advantages to the array mold on the right is that it costs significantly less to purchase considering that the instrument on the left at the time we purchased it in 2000 was $15,000. Now they are upwards to $20,000 to $150,000 if, if you wanted an automated one of these. The needles for the array mold instrument on the right are very inexpensive because they're dermal needles they cost anywhere between a dollar to a dollar fifty a piece and you can buy a box of fifty for around a hundred dollars. Another reason why we went to the array mold instrument is because of speed. I can punch a 60 core TMA block in less than 15 minutes and with the instrument on the left it took me upwards to 45 minutes or more to punch a 60 core TMA block. Also, I found that using the instrument on the left, if you didn't dial in very accurately, you noticed that your rows were starting to go crooked. And with the array mold on the right, you didn't have that problem because the holes were already in the block for you. Something that I found was convenient for the tissue microarray instrument on the left was if you wanted to do custom TMAs, like use different type of core sizes and different things like that. After a few years of using the array mold, I actually developed a video and a published a paper on doing a radical TMA, which means I was able to use different size needles in the array mold. The example I gave in the published article and on a video on this website is I used a three millimeter array mold and I was able to add two millimeter punches in it. So watch the video and you can understand how we did that. So the array mold is also customizable. One more thing that I was able to do with the array mold is do frozen tissue microarrays or cryoarrays as we call them because you can actually use it inside of a cryostat. To use the instrument on the left in a cryostat you would have to remove the microtome inside and make a platform for it. And remember the needles are very expensive when using the array mold to make an OCT block and then punching frozen tissue samples I went through about four or five needles which were only a dollar a piece instead of a two hundred dollar plus needle set with the instrument on the left. I know the array mold looks quite small but it is very efficient, very fast, and very reliable to use. We did a tissue microarray project where we did 25 tissue microarrays and we used one single silicone mold to make all of those tissue microarray blocks and that single silicone mold has been used for almost five years now and has produced over 75 tissue microarrays. And please visit our other instructional videos to learn more about tissue microarray processing. Thanks for watching.